Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are super excited for today's video because it's been a long time since we've done one of these. True. We're doing a Q&A. Ooh. Ooh. So we asked you last week on our community tab on our YouTube page, ask us questions. What questions do you have for us? Yeah. What do you want to know? We said it could be personal, it could be voice related, it could be whatever. So you guys did not fail. You came through and we've got a list of questions here. So we are going to do just that. If you guys are new to our channel, we are Chase and Malia. We are husband and wife, which yes. many of you didn't know. Wow. And we are voice <laughs> teachers. We're singers. We love music. Yeah. So on this channel, we love to share about singing. We love to learn with you guys, teach things that we know yeah. and talk everything singing. So Today, we are going to answer some questions and we are super excited. Let's get started. First one is from Summons Bay. Thank you for your question. Um, when did you guys start singing? That's a so great question. my whole family, I am, I am one of four mm -hmm. and I have three sisters and my mom mm -hmm. sings as well. My dad mm -hmm. doesn't really sing. My mom was like in a band and stuff. Right. And so we would always sing in the car and mm -hmm. harmonize and, and I would always sing with my sisters. So I was singing yeah. the high parts <laughs> and I kind of always did. And yeah. so I think I've been singing for a long time. Yeah. Um, my mom sang a bunch of nursery rhymes. That's awesome. So, so you started singing as a kid, as a kid, sure. but I didn't do choir or anything in elementary school. I wasn't really interested. I didn't join until middle school in the U S it's probably about 12, 11, yeah. 12 before I really started to enjoy singing like yeah. all the time and, yeah. and really getting into choir and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you're not in choir or if you're not doing any of that kind of stuff, don't worry about it. I didn't do it for a while either. <laughs> and when did you start voice lessons? Not till I was 18, 19. Yeah, 18. in college. Awesome. Yeah, in college. I'm similarly. I grew up singing. My dad is a musician, um, not by like career, but he is a musician. My family is all musicians. We're Polynesian. Yeah. You can play. And There's sing, lots yeah. of music going on. Um, my mom did like church choir when I was growing up. So I've sung ever since I could sing. And then I have done choir since like elementary school. I was lucky enough for my elementary school to have choir. So I've done choir did forever. Did you do Colorado Children's Choir? I did not do the Colorado Children's Choir. I was not that fancy. For but all the all the uh, really pretentious the kids. kids used to say that all the time in choir. Uh, I was in Colorado Children's, children's Choir. Yeah. And, well, uh, just met yeah. your parents had time okay. to take you to practice. Uh, no, I'm just weirdo. Yeah. No, alone. so I, I sang through high school um, and then I didn't start taking voice lessons until college either. Yep. So. There you it's go. So you don't never too late. need voice lessons, you <laughs> yeah. know, and but they do help if you're Choir looking to sing. Choir is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Choir is great. Yeah. Choir, I think, gives you a lot of the basic, yes. like, instincts mm -hmm. of good singing. So, Absolutely. like, good vowels, um, how to take breaths with yeah. other people. Um, what's another one? How to read one? music. How Most to read music. So at least being introduced to reading music. I would just say, yeah, and I would say yeah. phrasing is a yeah. big one. Um, what's one that's, like, really, oh, oh. Not singing on like consonants, like yeah. L's and R's, like, you know, your choir teacher will usually Teach tell you, you stop things. doing that sing on the, you know, love instead of, uh, yeah. right? Yeah, so, choir is great. Choir is good stuff. All right, next question from Fiona Iron. How did you both meet? Well, we met in college. Mm -hmm. uh, we were cast as romantic opposites in an opera scene. So we were both taking, it was a class at the time, and um, they did little mini scenes from operas, and then they would cast people in it. And so we were cast in it. It was Falstaff, and you were Fenton. I was Fenton. And I was, I don't remember. What was I? Susanna? Nope, not Susanna. That's not her name. Fenton and... Couldn't oh, tell you. Couldn't tell you. Whoever the opposite of that is. But um, we were cast and um, uh, we had known each other. Like we were in school before, sure, we like a few choir. years, but we weren't Malia like close. didn't have a high opinion of me. No, he Mostly, didn't know my name. I called her Mila. I said, she had these really amazing <laughs> posters for her recital. And I was like, those are nice posters. So, you know, or she sang in performance class. I said, you did great today, Mila. And she was like. My, our mutual friend was like, her name's her, Malia. Yeah, it called me out right then and there. It was horrible it was great yeah. yeah so we got cast and so we you know were indifferent in feeling that way yeah and um uh we were supposed to kiss in no. this scene and um the then, person who cast us the director who yes. was our, both of our voice teacher uh, yeah um told us we needed to practice right. because 
kisses you don't do that kiss on stage for the first time it's super awkward. yeah it's super awkward and, and it was uh, my first stage kiss ever yeah. yours too right oh yeah, yeah so yeah. so it's like there's a lot of mechanics to it so anyway so then we were <laughs> I hanging <brought> coffee <laughs> the first time we were like rehearsing together and she's like no gum no, gum <laughs> here's a listerine here's some gum here's a listerine pack <laughs> but um, i will i might not do it for this video we'll probably make our own video but we have footage yeah. of this yeah. said scene you guys would love to see and there's it. a I bit know more would. to the story there's more we'll to the story whole... so we will go into the whole story but that is how we met in an opera scene in college so as romantic opposites 10 years yeah. ago oh my goodness good timing <laughs> well Do you smile yeah he... smile say smile smile he... He... Okay, so somebody woke up from their nap, so they're joining us for yeah. the Q&A. And he was crying because yes. he was so sad oh. after his nap. Hi. You want to answer the questions? Okay. All right. What is our next question? Okay. This next question is from La La Land Mock Match. Mm -hmm. Describe each other with one word, and who is your idol and why? Ooh, that's tough, Gabby. Those are two yeah, really yeah, tough questions. That's tough. Okay, what is it? So you go first with one word because I have to think about this. Uh, for Malia, it's so weird. That's a tough one. Can't it be three? Gosh, what's your word? Ooh, I have I'm like leaning toward whimsical. <laughs> That's a good one. See, mine was I was gonna say strong, but not like <laughs> yeah, strong. Well, that I mean, too. obviously that, but yeah, it means so much. <laughs> I want I want a word that like means what's a word that means like. Great communicator. Communicative seems really, communicative. Is really wrong. I don't know. I'm going to say be. strong. Thank you. Is yours Very whimsical? Strong. I think whimsical? mine's whimsical. Okay. A second, a close second would be also very practical. Practical. Like you're, you really? kind of, you, I feel like you, that's a, that's for somehow you do, you do both, which is Whimsically weird. practical. With so strong and. Just looking at our microphone. Strong and whimsical. Okay. Who's okay. your idol? Mm. Why? That's a really hard question. I'm assuming we're talking vocally. That's really hard to choose. For a long time, I would have said Joyce DiDonato. Oh, I know. Natalie Weiss. Natalie Weiss. She's mine. Like, right now. She's fabulous. She's fabulous. Yeah. Right now. Right now, Natalie Weiss is mine. And it's because she is an incredible singer. And, and an teacher. incredible teacher. And it's really hard yeah. to be both. I think she does a very good job at um, helping others succeed in singing um, in yeah. the way that she does. And that's a very difficult thing to do. And so at one point in my life, it was Joyce DiDonato, but right now it is Natalie Weiss. Natalie Weiss, love yep, it. Yep, totally. I would say one of the singers I really like the most and have like a ton of respect for is Brendan Urie. Oh, that's a good um, one too. You know, I really just love his voice. I love his singing. I always have, mm -hmm. you know, since uh, uh, Fever You Can't Sweat Out. Yeah, totally anyway. different album. Ooh, you're a singer. You awesome. Okay, so okay. Ivan, Yvonne Plemons Jr., I just found out you guys lived in Germany. Where? Why were you there? And for how long are you fluent in the language? Thank you. First question. Why were you there? Okay. We were there originally. We moved to Germany 10 days after we got married mm -hmm. um, with the intention of attending graduate school. So to get our master's degrees in opera, opera. performance. <laughs> that is what we went to Germany to do. Plot twist, we didn't do that. We didn't do that at all. <laughs> so yeah. you couldn't answer how long we were there for. We were there for about five years, uh -huh. uh, just short of five years. We <clears throat> did an opera with the musical Schule in Stuttgart. Mm -hmm. It was really wonderful. A lot of Met a lot of really wonderful people. I think um, ultimately, you know, there's a whole story behind that, but ultimately we didn't, I didn't, and I think Malia felt the yeah. same way. Uh, we didn't feel like opera was reaching our generation in, in a way that we wanted to as artists like we wanted yeah. to, we wanted to be relevant right you know? and at least that was that my was that was thing, my yeah. big thing was that I didn't feel like you know let's say I pour my life and my career into this would I invite my friends to right. go would I invite even my family yeah. to go you know they've gone for a lot of things but yeah. what, are they gonna sit through a three-hour opera you enjoyed doing it but you didn't enjoy like watching it I didn't so feel that like kind I could felt, invite anybody yeah. I, it felt like uh, my joke is is that it feels like collecting typewriters it's yeah. kind of cool for you but nobody really cares nobody cares you know um <laughs> I think yeah yeah I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt no, no, you. No, no, you're fine. Yeah, I think for me, a lot of it was I didn't um, feel confident in my German language skills, so this kind of answers the next question. At the time when we got there, I was not 
um, confident and like really willing to go through the process of learning and getting fluent. Um, and then ultimately for me, it was that I didn't, I kind of learned and realized that I didn't want to be a touring musician because I wanted to have a family yeah. and I kind of wanted to have that like more stable life. Touring is hard. Yeah. Touring is hard and being a professional opera singer would be really hard. You don't really live in one place. Like if you're lucky, you get long-term jobs, but not many yeah. people get that. So that was a big um, thing for me. I wanted to be a mom and I wanted to have a family yeah. and I still wanted to sing, but I didn't want to do the performing Zeit. life. Yeah. Yeah. Is it Zeit zwei, drei Jahre? Since we talked. Since we moved yeah, on. Yeah. Three. Also drei oh. Jahre, seit ich uh, Deutsch gesprochen habe, aber ich hoffe, dass ich nie, niemals vergesse mein Deutsch. Um, ich glaube, ich wahrscheinlich nicht fließend bin, aber ich kann ein gutes Gespräch geben. Um, wenn die Subjekt ist, ja, wahrscheinlich Musik, Tischtennis, um, aber ja, es, es gibt viel uh, Subjekt, dass ich nicht die Vokabular habe. Um, also, ich hoffe, dass um, ja, ich, ich liebe Deutsch uh, lernen und ich hatte mhm. viel Spaß uh, Deutsch sprechen mit, mit Mensch. I understood everything you said, you but um, I'm probably not going to talk in yeah. German. That was a big I, goal of mine to, to learn yeah. another language. And, and I, took, I took a semester of German in college before mm -hmm. going. Before we went, so yeah. And then we took intensive classes once we got there, and then mm -hmm. we just kind of immersed ourselves. And I, yeah, but, I played table tennis three yeah. times a week and right. had games and, and was always talking too. to people. And yeah, I, worked, worked. Yeah, I worked at yeah. uh, a team of Deutsche Telekom for mm -hmm. a minute, so I was on the phone in German and talking to people, um, in, people in English. It, yeah. was, it was pretty pretty tough, but I, I loved it. Yeah. Um, okay, David Rum, who's your favorite artist that you've discovered through your reactions? That is a really good question. Very good question. You go first. Who's yours? Probably Fauzia. Oh, Fauzia is good. I, you know, I really love CT. Yeah, no, CT I do too. CT sings in a way that I just, I really just enjoy. Yeah. Um, but Fauzia's Fauzia got really a good. just, I think she's she's got a style of music that is weird enough yeah. to where I just love it and I want to hear more of it, yeah. but also like approachable enough to where I can like send it to people and be totally. like, Hey, you should listen to this and, and I really bet you like it. Like vo vocal focused too. I think like voice focused music. It's really yeah. interesting. I think that mine right now as of today is Ernie Zakri. Oh, she was that so was good. So, I was really not expecting yeah. that. We're that was, her, that yeah. was the biggest one. I just wasn't expecting that. This is from Lama. Mm -hmm. As vocal teachers, who do you think are the best vocalists you've ever heard? Now, mm. this is always a question I think a lot of people have. Absolutely. But best, best at what? Best right. at singing loosely, best right. at evoking emotion, Who's best performance, right. um, g oh. biggest, uh, what is, what is, uh, Dimash, oh, biggest vocal range, vocal range and ability. Is that yeah, how you, you know? Totally. So it's really hard to say what best is. And yeah. I think, you know, I think best is going to be different for everybody. Um, but as vocal teachers, who do I think are the best vocalists? I, you know, I don't know. We really like Natalie Weiss. I was going to say Natalie Weiss. Yeah. And I think the reason is because she sort of checks all the boxes for me. I believe in her vocal technique. I really believe in her philosophy. And I also think she's an incredibly emotive and talented Artist. and versatile singer. Yeah. I think she just really has, she can sing, um, you know, theatrical stuff. She can sing contemporary stuff. She also, I believe, has the ability to learn to sing anything. Um, like, I've seen her, like, mm -hmm. learn riffs and stuff like that, obviously. That's, like, yeah. the biggest thing. But I would say Natalie Weiss, and not because I think that anybody is the best singer in the world. I don't think that that's a thing. I just think she is the most well-rounded and dynamic singer that I know of right now and that yeah. I've heard of right now. Yeah. I agree. This is from Sean. Uh -huh. He says, as music teachers, both of us are really focused on vocal teaching, but do we teach any other instruments? What kind of instrument um, and what ages do we focus on students teaching music? Yeah. So I love guitar, play guitar a lot, yes. and I teach guitar. Um, I have taught piano, and I also love the ukulele. That was kind of where I started. Ages for voice lessons, I don't think you need, like, I mean, I think voice lessons help. Mm. 
But like we didn't take voice lessons until we were 18. I would say if you have access to voice lessons at a younger age, like before college um, or before you become an adult, that's fantastic. And I think there's a lot of advantages to that. Um, but I don't think it's a necessary thing in order to be a professional singer in life or to yeah. pursue singing in like, and as a career. And I don't actually think taking voice lessons at an early age actually puts you ahead of other people. I think a lot of people, if they pick the right people to imitate, right. like for instance, Malia really, really sang um, a lot of Celine Dion and Celine Dion is easy, you know, big, long phrases, right. really good um, technique, I think. I also didn't spend a lot of time trying to sound like her. I oh, did yeah? say, spend a lot of time singing along to her, which can also cause stuff. But I agree, like, I wasn't sitting in my room trying to imitate. Trying to imitate. So you can also take things, as a young artist, you can listen to your favorite singers, and you can take stuff from them that's not, like, unique to them. Like, their phrasing, yeah. Um, yeah. that's not specifically theirs. Like, yeah. if you want to just try to emulate what they're doing, there's ways that you can do that. Without taking how they sound. Yes, without taking how they sound. Without so. trying to Long sound like them you can mm -hmm. take their good habits absolutely ages you know but you can do you can start a lot earlier with, mm -hmm. with instruments but what do you teach i would say you norm you teach any age i don't like to teach younger than 12 right. i might it depends on the kid i mean if the kid right. is like already singing mm -hmm. and really loving it and really interested in mm -hmm. in um you know working on singing right um yeah i'll teach 10 Maybe, but, yeah. but it depends on the kid. You know, they have to be super duper into it. And your focus um, in school, like your actual licensure is yeah. K through 12. So through 12. you can teach, I mean, you can elementary. teach anybody, but elementary, but elementary is a very different basic thing. Stuff. It's a super, it's yeah. a super different thing. Totally. Um, awesome. Okay. Great question. Next one. Yeah. Great question. I'm no one's favorite. Yeah. Hi. They've been around the channel for a very long time and they might be no one else's favorite, but they are our, <laughs> our favorite. favorite. And uh, so thank you so much for being around the channel so the comment says the first video they saw was our how to harmonize video and checking out our channel this is when we had like 800 subscribers yeah um that's what they say that we didn't have very many viewers and we had been making videos for about two and a half years with still like less, less than, than a thousand, thousand. subscribers yep. um what the question is what kept us going yeah um that's a really really good, question. A really good question yeah we've been doing youtube since 2018 like um so three years almost yeah. um and oh wait is three 18 19 no, 20, right. 21 yeah almost three yeah. years and um we set out to do youtube because we just wanted to sing and we wanted a platform to sing and we wanted to share it um we loved you know making covers and that's yeah. you'll look back at our channel and it was a cover every week yeah. and then we really loved vlogging because we liked sharing our lives and we liked documenting it yeah and i think at a certain point we got down just like anybody does um when we had our son we took a big break we About took six like months six off, months yeah. off and um took some time to think of what we wanted to do and when we came back we were really um confident and like excited about teaching voice lessons and helping other people get better at singing that was like our main focus was how yeah. do we help others get better at singing well, and we in saw, an easy and accessible way we yeah. saw what um what other singers were watching which was a lot of react videos and actually i'm no that, favorite yeah. was one of our one of the first people to request a react video from right us. yeah so once we kind of found out react videos we obviously started growing a lot faster but really what kept us going was our goal of trying to help other people sing. And the the thing that we keep telling ourselves and have told ourselves this whole time is that, you know, we haven't failed if we don't quit. And yeah. so we just never quit. And yeah, we just kept going and yep. kept making videos. Just keep it's, trying. It's fun, yeah. yeah it's fun. And, and honestly, if you if you believe in what... Oh, okay. Yeah. You have something to say. Yeah. If you believe in what you're making... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't put it better myself. If you believe in what, oh god! If you, daddy's turn. Daddy's talking. If you believe in what you're making, it's easier to make it every week. You know, we we didn't. I'm sorry. You know, we weren't sure about React videos at first. Yeah. Um, but as teaching tools, they've actually turned out to be pretty pretty helpful. Mm -hmm. Okay, your turn. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, yeah. what do you think? What kept you going? What kept you going? I think it was goldfish. <laughs> Okay, wait, my turn. Mommy's turn. So this next question is from Wad El Kahim. El El Hakim. El Hakim. I have dyslexia. Um, so they say as vocal teachers. They have teachers, three questions, which is against. Words. I know. We're just gonna answer them quickly. As what do you? Who do you think is best artist? We already did that. How long have you been together? Um, dating ten years. Married seven. Describe each other with one word. Strong. 
So this is from Hazel H. What do you like to do during your free time? Um, we like going to the park. Yeah. We're, and playing with little booger. We're parents, so we're we have. Parents, yeah, we a lot have, of. You know, our free time is is late less at night. these days and late at yeah. night. Um, um, I like watching TV. I'm a TV person, so I yeah. watch a lot of like different shows. I binge watch my yeah. favorite shows. You like YouTube? I do um, like YouTube. I like cooking. I cooking. cook. Malia is a what fabulous you, oh. cook. I used to be a good cook, and then Malia has mm -hmm. taken, taken any, any of my opportunities to cook, and so I don't cook anymore. And then I tried to cook the other day, and I yeah. forgot how to cook. I That's don't know okay. how to cook anymore. Um, Chase likes to work out. I, I think. I like a lot of things. I like to play guitar. I like to play and guitar. And so I'll, I'll stay up and play guitar. I've been getting back into um, uh, video game, many of you might know, as Dota 2. Mm. Um, but that is like crack that is poison. cocaine. I get immediately addicted. It's 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 not good. It's, yeah, so I'm trying to get back to um, yeah, enjoying it. playing guitar. There's mm -hmm. more here. Enjoying playing guitar. Um, I would like to... Get into writing music, you know that's that's definitely something I'm looking to get into, but I don't do as much with my totally. free time. Mostly just uh, fiddle on my guitar. Yeah, and nap. And take a nap. Take naps sometimes. when you're a parent and you work from home and yeah. uh, you make your own schedule. Yeah, you could just take. You naps. stay up to eleven sometimes yeah, exactly. working, but and then you so can just take a nap. In the it's okay the if they nap. You can take a nap. That's right. Nellie asks, "What are your guys' backgrounds? Did your families do music, and how did you get into teaching?" Mm -hmm. Um, you want to go first? Sure. Yeah, you go yeah. First. Um, like I said, with my like when I started singing, my my family did do music, so I did kind of grow up in music, but they didn't do it professionally. So um, I always knew I wanted to be a singer of some sort. It's really funny. Um, one of the questions later is like, "What do I want to be when I grow up?" And they wanted to be a paleontologist. I also wanted to be a paleontologist when I was like <laughs> six, but nowadays. That's laughable. That's laughable that I want to dig in dirt and travel. <laughs> I hate flying. She doesn't even want to I don't garden. like mosquitoes. Yeah. So, um, so we plant, yes. We plant flowers in the spring and stuff, and she's like, ew, dirt. I've always wanted to be a singer, so that has definitely been my my passion. And as far as me teaching, um, I started teaching when we were in Germany. We kind of started a studio, but I do um, – I'm not trained in teaching. I'm trained in singing. Um, and so it's different. It's different. It's a yeah. different thing. My background, my mom did a band and sang and we all sang. My family, I have three sisters, like I said. Yeah. We all sang. Wow. So I actually wanted to be a teacher at a really early age. I had a teacher kind of change my life when I was young. And mm -hmm. so I wanted to be a like teacher for a while. Grade. Yeah, like, fourth grade. Yeah. Um, and that was even before I liked singing. Yeah. Um, and... You know, in high school, I really just fell in love with singing. Could mm -hmm. imagine, couldn't imagine doing anything else. But I, I always wanted to be a teacher, and I, and yeah. I love, um, I love teaching, and it's and it's really yeah. a big, a big, um, passion of mine. Well, and, and I think it's a that skill that you have, just like singing, like, mm. or it is a talent and and the natural ability too. Mm. Um, okay, so then the next question is, is nice. um, what were your dream occupations and? Ooh. Yes. So, what? what was your dream? Was it always that? It was always teaching. Gosh, Did you have any I don't weird know. ones ever? I'm serious. I wanted to be a paleontologist, but it was probably for just like a week. I mean, did you ever want to be like an engineer, an astronaut? Uh, I don't know. No. I think I always wanted to be a teacher. You always wanted to be a teacher. I really think I wanted to be a teacher. Really be a teacher. But, that's, but it wasn't like specifically singing or music. No. Okay. Well, I mean, when I got older, definitely. Right. I wanted to be a. I wanted to be a singer. I just wanted to oh, sing. Oh yeah. Yeah. And like that's kind of. Where I was in college too, where I was like, I just I don't really care what it looks like. I just want to sing. Just want to sing, yeah. And so if I can do that, teaching and like a lot of musicians are doing a lot of gigs, mm -hmm. you know. So teaching is one of the things that I do as a singer and as a musician in order to support ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. And like, and like be professionals, no, you know. So Ben Conover asks if you could duet with any professional uh, artist who would you choose this is an amazing question it is an amazing question what's your answer do you know i don't know i don't either like duet sing with them i know that's what duet means i know but i'm trying like unfortunately i'm super spoiled like i feel like i sing best with you and so I'm trying to think if it's somebody that I just want to sing with, not because we would sing well together, or is there somebody that I feel like I'd sing well with? Sing, don't, don't, don't worry about you being able to mm -hmm. like mesh well with them. Like just like your dream person to sing with. Mm. Probably Brooke Frazier. 
That's a weird one. Ooh, so Brooke Fraser. I mean, I don't know if anybody knows who Brooke Fraser is. She is a worship leader for Hillsong. She's had her own solo albums forever. But she is from New Zealand or Australia. I think she's from New Zealand. Anyway, she's an incredible singer. And yeah. I, she was definitely one of my singing idols growing up. And um, I would love to sing with her. I thought you were going to say Celine. No, see? Yeah. And I just... Interesting. Yeah. I think that I appreciate Celine and I love Celine in a way that is much more like from this side than like wanting to sing with her. I would say Jason Mraz. Ooh, that's a good one. That's, I just, I grew up loving Jason, Jason Mraz. Mraz. yeah. And I love just, I just kind of want to be on stage with Jason Mraz. Yeah. You know, he's just such a fabulous. That would be a know. fun, like he'd be a good time to sing with too. I think so too. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, I think he'd just be a good, a good time. Mm -hmm. And then the last question or last questions um, from Rosalind Boudel. So tell us our love story. We're going to make a video. We're going to make, we'll make a, make a video, video about every, like how we met and our story and maybe even include some singing stuff in there because our story is really revolved around singing yeah. um we since the beginning yeah since the very beginning um we definitely grew on each other i will just say that right there <laughs> it says was it love at first sight or did we grow on each other we grew on each, we other. Grew on each other so i will say that um and i had then, to woo her yeah chase had to woo me convince me haha <laughs> just kidding ha -ha. um and then the last question you asked which i love is do you do youtube full-time and we do not do YouTube full time. We do our business of music and teaching mm -hmm. full time. But YouTube is just one part of that. Yeah. So um, we teach, we perform. Yep. Yeah. And I think it will be that way all the time. Like even if we end up continuing to grow do. our yeah. YouTube, it will never be just YouTube. But because we still love live performance, and that yeah. is outside of YouTube yeah. almost exclusively. So. So yeah, well, we hope that we answered your guys' burning questions. And if you have more questions, we will do another Q&A very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new. And we will see you guys in our next video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified next time we post. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. bye. Can you say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.